Miami FC in their home blue with the orange trim will go from the left to your right. We are underway in this second match of the fall season. Marceline picks up a loose ball and here comes Glenn trying to find an angle and a big save by Vega. Good work by James Marceline to come up, pick up a loose ball and kind of takes the air out of our argument that Miami FC's passing has gotten better. It's gotten better, but the interceptions are still being made in very crucial areas, especially in Miami FC's half of the pitch. He'll have to move it out. And North Carolina trying to find some space, and that ball is big time save by Daniel Vega. A little breakdown there, and that ball almost squirted into the back of the net. First great fortune there on that play. Look how quickly you start to see the give and go away from the ball. That's the movement that's very key. That's what begins to open spaces for any team. Ball way off the mark. Just overflowing. It looked really phenomenal. Opportunity for North Carolina, and they take advantage of it. Back of the net, breakdown. And Glenn. Jonathan Glenn, welcome to North Carolina. 1-0 Miami FC trails after 27 minutes. Mistake there by Blake Smith trying to play the ball inside and was completely read by Stephen Miller, a player that's been in sensational form for North Carolina. Misplays it, and of course, when you have a player like Glenn, what does he do? Yeah, he scores goals. Miami looking to equalize this match from distance right into the hands of Silvestri. And if Martinez wants to find the back of the net, it's going to have to be a better effort than that. But that's his bread and butter. That's where he's able to go outside in, setting it up for the left foot. And on that one, he just wasn't able to put that right foot down enough to really sweep through it, losing their composure. Miller gets past Chavez. Lays it off. Again. And that blast from the outside. Again, Bruce being able to make a clean little shift. Of course, it's a player that just recently came in. Can't. Left foot. Creeping forward. Back of the net. 2-1. Miami FC is now on the board. And it's a completely different match. This goal is brought to you by Del Toro Insurance, the assurance to be well insured. Looked like he was trying to go to the to his right, or excuse me, to Sylvester's right, switches it at the last minute. Well, then, once Sylvester committed, yeah. nice pass for Resend, centers. Pino, back of the net, back of the net. Stefano Pino with his ninth of the season, we're tied at two apiece. Wow! One thing is Stefano Pino being a point man with his back to goal. Another thing is when he gets a ball like this, the deflection to all in stoppage time. It's right there. Sometimes you don't have to be good, just got to be a little bit lucky. Stefano Pino with his ninth of the season. Just a minute ago. Puts it right towards the goal, and that's in the back of the net. What a set piece. North Carolina gives up two straight, and now they're on top. Three to two. Wow. Inexplicable, Bruce. You saw it coming because Christian Ibiago is all by himself, not just in the final product there as he heads alone, but every time you saw Miami FC dropping back to be able to defend, no one took into account Christian Ibiaga. That's going to do it. Miami FC falls 3-2 to two to North Carolina FC. And for the second time this season, they have lost once again to the only team in the NASL they have not beaten in 2017.